I never get responses to like a comment on a mass photo. I got all these responses on this comment. It's women. They're all flooding in under my comment. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up world? Welcome to this installment of Bangin' Chili Cheese Dogs, A Few Different Ways with your boy. So as you saw in that little cooking segment, you know, this pretty easy recipe. Uh, this chili is from a past video actually where I made keto cauliflower chili dish and uh, I took that to a different level after I was done with that and I blended it into like a full on kind of chili sauce for hot dogs. I froze it up. It's been chilling in the freezer for a while and uh, been waiting for this opportunity right now. They look incredible and I am very, very stoked to dig into them. So without further ado, before we do anything more, we must pour. So we have our iceberg on deck. Once again, we're back with the doctor. Appropriate season for doctors, okay? Shout out real quick to the doctors and the nurses across the world fighting this thing and trying to save lives, being overwhelmed, working way too many hour shifts, you know, being at risk themselves, being on the front lines. That's another shout out to everybody working at grocery stores, delivery people, anybody on the front lines, man. All those essential jobs that people get shit on constantly for that, uh, hey, I've worked them. I know what they're like. Trust me. I've worked in all of the shitty jobs and, uh, I don't think it'll be my last time because you never know what's going to happen in life and you got to do what you got to do to survive, man. I've done it all. I've done all the, the labor jobs. I've done the construction jobs. I've done the call center jobs. I've done the food and beverage jobs. I've done the cooking. I've done everything. So I know how hard it is and how underappreciated and underpaid you are and how a lot of people look at you like you're less than and you're like a piece of shit. And you're not. You're valuable. You're needed. You're required. So thank y'all. 
and uh, I hope you guys are doing your best to stay germ free in this time. Okay, so as you saw, I got the original just chili cheese. I got some barbecue chips, Miss Vicky's. Miss Vicky's has had a hold on me lately. And then this one is a chili cheese coney style with the mustard and the onions. And then this is chili cheese with the hot banana peppers, pickled banana peppers. I love banana peppers. Once again, Miss Vicky's in the rear. I got a little, you know, amount that's acceptable. So I don't eat, you know, a crazy whole bag. Um, so we got myself like a serving of salt and vinegars. Which we're going to go over here real quick. And... We're switching it up today. I brought, my sister just made these fresh chocolate chip banana protein muffins. So we have a little dessert today, which is out of the ordinary. I'm gonna put these down because I need this to be the focus, okay? So we've got the big wiener in a relatively small bun. Look at that, look how delicious that's looking. I personally, I like a big wiener in a small bun. You know what I mean? Do people like small wieners in the big buns? I don't know. Let me know down below. So soft, so toasty, so delicious. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's heavenly. So like I said, <clears throat> this is actually from that video if you haven't watched that video if you want to go see me eat a bowl of cauliflower chili uh the month i was going heavy keto once i was done with that video i just hand pulsed hand blended it off into like a smoothness not my original coney recipe that I usually do but it's working it has corn in it which is very different but I enjoy that little sweetness in there So while I've got you here, I want to tell you about a little Instagram adventure I had the other day and why I kind of hate thoughty thirst trap Instagram girls and simp dudes and how they make it bad for general men and general women. And yeah, it's just very interesting to me. It's annoying, but it is the way of the world. And unfortunately it is what it is. I don't really have any recourse or a solution for it because majority of people are still going to keep doing this shit and you know I can't change people on mass but hey if I can change anybody who's um, guilty or a perpetuator of this behavior through this speech right here then I've done a little bit to create a changing of the guard. I knew that was going to be the one. The spicy pickled pepper caught so good through the cheese and the richness of the sauce. So, I'm on Instagram, wasting some time doing what I do. perusing and you know how you can go into like the 
explore page and just it has like thumbnails of just a ton of different shit so i'm cruising through i'm scrolling through and i have this rule when it comes to instagram that i'm not allowed i try myself to not allow myself to go down like big booty bitch lane if you know what i mean you guys know the lane it's there because instagram is just full like you can literally spend days on end just chalked full of visiting different you know hot ass instagram girls right with the big booty implants and all that right the perfectly photo brush pictures and the rest of it and you can get lost in the sauce and get all like in your feels feel a type of way have to have to pull up the hub and uh relieve some tension if you know what i mean so I allow myself maybe one or two big booty hoes per scroll per per adventure you know what i mean so i'm going through i see this one i click in just to have a look but the, the problem is with the algorithm and the way the things are is that once you click into that it recognizes like oh dude over here is looking for thick girls and he's about this life so I'm going to just pop that up on his feet all the time now. So it's, it's hard to avoid once you go in. That's the reason why I have this rule. Anyways, one of the reasons why I go in. To these photos. Is, you know, beyond the hot girl. The, the comment section is really what I go for. because it's so socially intriguing to go through and kind of read what people are saying in relativity to these th thoughty thirst trap photos. Mainly, I love to go see all the simp dudes. And if you don't know what a simp is, it's basically men who are generally just creepy through commentary and like, but they pedestalize women and feed and pump women's egos, which these thoughties are looking for. Like that's the point. They want people to engage with their photos. They want to get their egos pumped. It's all helpful for them. The rest of the comments are usually other women doing what women do on social media, which is another thing that it's hilarious to me because I know how women are like behind the scenes. And it's like, there's all these women like praising and bigging up this girl and just like, Oh girl, you're so beautiful. You're so this, that, and the third, but it's like real shit in real life with women. They do a lot of that at face value come closed doors these ladies be yapping off with the judgments and the she ain't shits you know what i mean so women are just cat face cat face two face and catty i'm not saying all i'm not generalizing here but I, you know a good majority that i know it's a lot of this and a lot of this in two different areas So anyways, I'm rolling through. I'm seeing all the creepy dude comments. And uh, this one dude's comment just got me. This is the chip one, if you can't tell. Mesquite barbecue. Uh, this one dude's comment just was well, just too much for me. He wrote... It's this girl in a bikini. He wrote, I want to live inside you. 
bro, I want to live inside of you. Chill, bro. Mm-mm. Time out. Worst part about this shit is, is these are dudes who are like, have a profile picture like you can click in you go and it's like he's got a kid and a wife and like a normal little life and but he's out here just publicly dropping i want to live inside you it's like so i never really do this i never comment really my opinion on stuff in comments on the internet because My general theory of contributing to the conversation on the internet is ultimately it's just very fleeting opinion that's going to get lost in the sauce forever. Like I just don't, I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. But this day, I felt compelled. So I wrote, y'all are a bunch of simps. A man really wrote, and then in air or in quotations, a man really wrote, I want to live inside of you. And then I wrote, bruh, chill. And then I followed up with, y'all wonder why when you go out at night and go to the club or you're in the bar or whatever, that women act with like stuck up with their nose in the air they don't give you the fucking time of day uh they want to avoid men at all costs pretty much you wonder why a girl gets freaked out when she's walking home from work at night and there's a dude on the other side of the road and she's like he's maybe just going his own way too and he has no intentions to harm her but her initial fucking instinct is i'm about to get fucking you know <laughs> jumped raped etc here i'm gonna get cat called or harassed like you wonder why, right? You wonder why these women, because you're out here fucking every two seconds pedestalizing saying whack shit that these women are reading at home going like, what? Ew, <laughs> that's crazy. Listen, I'm not perfect. I've definitely dropped a few um, flirtatious comments in my day on some pictures on the internet, but there's a difference between just being outright disgusting and weird and then, like, trying to have... If I'm going to drop some, some flirtatious lines, it's going to be kind of, like, wittily, underhandedly sexual, but kind of funny, where it's like... You have to have intellect and wit to, 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 to kind of decipher that it is sexual in nature. You know what I mean? It's, it's not so forward. So anyways. I never get responses to like a comment on a mass photo. I got all these responses on this comment. It's women. They're all flooding in under my comment. Claps, praise emojis, shit like that. A bunch of girls being like, being like, you're right, hit it on the head. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That just led me to want to say basically to like dudes out there it's like like we gotta not do that shit guys like for many for, for two different reasons basically well many different reasons but the main reasons are this is the regular coney style one with the onions and the mustard is like it's just you're making yourself look terrible first off Second of off, second off, it's just distasteful. 
Third off, it makes people uncomfortable probably. And fourth is it gives men as a whole a bad fucking reputation. It gives us a bad name. Like, don't bring the rest of of us down <laughs> because you lack the social skills or the confidence or the ability to properly attract a good-looking female into your life. <laughs> course as it would be being that coney dogs with the mustard and the onions are my favorite in general the addition of cheese is very good and out of the four this is my favorite mm. proper i just want to touch on that it got me fired up. I'm sorry. I know I talked a lot. I'm very like uppity right now and I'm like super almost very caffeinated, like on one sounding. I just, but I had to express this. Like I just, it was on my mind. Cause in my perspective of what's going on, it's some real ass shit. And that was another thought I had too, like during the reading of these comments from these guys, I was just like, have you, have you just, have you never experienced being with like a decent woman? Like, have you never sexually been with like a pretty good looking girl? Like, I don't like, is that where like this desperation is coming from? Is that where like this, like over overly intense I want to live inside of you comments are coming from is like is it just have you never had a, a quality girl and is that why you're so just overtly like desperate I don't know Very interesting to think about. All right. <clears throat> Switch it up. Your man's never has a little dessert. <clears throat> but I couldn't deny the uh, banana chocolate chip muffins. I love banana chocolate chip. Mm. These are fresh baked today. A couple hours old. Would be better with some butter. What would make it phenomenal is if I had a little Nutella. Nutella is a stupid one. your muffins those crumbs loose crumbs 
I'll get you every time. Try to take me out. Mm -hmm. A nice dessert. A very nice. What a banger. It's problematic how much I love hot dogs, to be honest. Just because I know how bad hot dogs are for you. But on some real, real speak, they're so good. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did, obviously. Um, until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.